How are we going, folks? Yes, yes, and welcome to Vasily's Nightmare. <laughs> Back in the orchard, folks, and a couple of weeks ago, or even earlier than that, I actually sprayed my peach and nectarine for aphids because they were getting decimated, being destroyed. Well, have a look. This is where my bad is, okay? Look at my bad here. What's going on here is we've got the ants up here farming the aphids, and I forgot to put a tree guard around the base of this. So I did spray it, and it's worked a treat in slowing down the aphid production. Most of them have come off, but now what the ants are doing is going up and down and moving them around, getting them to multiply and populate. So I've got to put a tree guard around this and come out and give it another spray. I reckon I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try and spray it because they're all over it. Either way, if I don't spray this, they're going to destroy the flowers anyway and the fruit on this tree. So my bad. See, we don't always get it right. That's the truth. I try to get to every plant. Oh, from here, I can see the damage on that one already. I've got to be out here almost every day looking after these trees. Unfortunately, I'm not. Bugger! Look at this mash. Oh. Oh. All right. It happens. We don't always get it right, folks. We know what we need to do. Practice what we preach. All right, look at that. And if you have a close look, there are ants walking up and down here. Here? You probably see them there. Look at that. Look at them. Ants are everywhere. Well, I say I should practice what I preach, and I haven't. Well, today I'm going to. I'm going to be installing the tree guard around the trunk. I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape, and I'm going to spray the hell out of these trees. Yes, I am going to affect the flowers. If it's not me that's going to destroy the flowers, it's going to be the aphids and ants. So better me than them. Let's get stuck into it. So before I spray it, because it's going to drip everywhere, let's put the tree guard around. See, look at this, traveling up and down. That's all they're doing. Up and down, up and down. Busy little ants they are. I put a bit of tape around the trunk and I'm gonna catch a few ants at it at the same time. Oh, they've woken up to my work here. That's enough. Why I do that, folks, is because I don't like applying tree guard directly onto the trunk. I'd rather put it on the tape and it will go soft as the weather warms up. Look at this, look at that. Hey, are they gonna get over it? If they get over that, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Geez, they're all over my hands already. Look at this. Get off me. All right. A bit more on this side. It's a barrier. They can't travel over it. They get stuck onto it. And that's the end of their farming. Yes, I've got a few left on the tree, folks. They can't get past now, but we'll deal with that in a second. Done. Have a look at this. They can't get over it. And if they do attempt to crawl, crawl over it, look, they get stuck. They can't move. Bugger me, they say. Oh, come on, I dare you. Come on. And now to deal with the top part of the tree to get rid of the aphids and control the ants. Now, I've got here Eco World. You can use Eco Neem, which is slightly more effective, but I actually just want to smother them straight away. Eco Neem works by, the, by destroying the digestive system, whereas Eco Oil will smother the, the insects and hopefully control the ants as well. Oh, it's blowing that way now. Just careful, we just don't want to get the spray on the lens. Yes, it's going to be to the point of runoff. And we'll have a quick look or close look after I've done it and see what's going on. Admittedly, eco oil isn't the strongest of insecticides, but it's one of the safest ones to use. Now, Anne's been such a, 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 a tough little insect. It probably withstand the first application of eco oil, but not so much the aphids. So you may need to do a second one within three to five days. I've used probably three, 400 mils already on this one little tree. So folks, if you've got a big tree and you're spraying it and you've only applied one litre, it ain't going to do much at all, if anything at all. So it's the aphids that you really want to concentrate on. And then the ants, well, whatever's up there, eventually will fall off. Because I'm quite sure it will cause some damage to their body, the eco oil that is. And if not in the first spray, the second one. 
One down, a few more trees to go, folks. Now, if you've got a problem with your trees, get onto it straight away. Don't let it go anymore like I have. Get your sprays onto it. Eco Oil, Eco Neem, available on our website and at all good garden centres. And get your tree guard around the trunk of your trees to stop them from crawling up and down and farming the aphids. It's, it's imperative that you do that, otherwise you'll never get rid of them. And if you need to feed your trees and anything else you need for your garden, check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. Everything you need for your garden, this weekend heavily discounted with 3AW Weekend Radio. Tune in to 3AW if you're just watching this as we've uploaded it. Give us a call with your gardening problems. We'll share some of your gardening tips because I'd love to hear from you. 40 to 70% off everything online. Superfood, compost, whatever you want at VasiliesGarden.com. From me, Vasili, Maresi.